what's up everybody? Steve Ayelis here. Thanks again for watching and welcome to my new subscribers. If you're new to my channel, I'm trying to bring you cryptocurrency news in an entertainment kind of way. So it's easy for you to digest. So today, welcome to the city of Arnhem. Arnhem is a city with approximately 150,000 citizens and Arnhem is known by the Battle of Arnhem during the Second World War. So today, I'm here in Arnhem, aka Bitcoin City, to see how Bitcoin is accepted. Because I've heard that Bitcoin is accepted at 114 merchants. So let's see how that is working in practice. So let's go! So I'm sitting here together with Rogier. So Rogier, thank you very much for doing this interview. Yeah, thank you. Can you do a short introduction about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Rogier. Um, I got into Bitcoin uh, because a good friend of mine introduced me to it. Yeah. And together with um, uh, two other friends, uh, we started the Arnhem Bitcoin City project. Because we were kind of enthusiastic about Bitcoin and I could see the potential of this technology. Yeah. Uh, there was barely any place where you can pay with it. Yeah. Uh, so inspired by similar projects like the one in Berlin, yeah. um, we started Arnhem Bitcoin City and we tried to convince, convince merchants to accept Bitcoin. And in order to do so, we also created Bitcasa, which is like a really simple, free to use, low barrier uh, Bitcoin payment processor, yeah. uh, which was free to use for the merchants who just wanted to give it a try. And it allows them to really easily accept Bitcoin uh, by use of any phone, tablet, laptop, whatever they have in place uh, and just receive the euros on a bank account. Okay, so it's a little bit more of, a, let's say, a point of sale device? Uh, yeah, it's not really like a dedicated device. Yeah. Uh, we just created a, a website, a web app, so to speak, mm -hmm. uh, that merchants can use on any device so they don't have to download and install anything. They don't need any, uh, they don't have any special hardware requirements. Just any any phone uh, can be used straight away. Yeah, and is, uh, do you have an idea of the amount of transactions in terms of percentages that is being paid in Bitcoin versus uh, normal fiat at, um, the, at the merchants at the moment? Well, not in percentages because yeah. I have no idea how much normal fiat payments take place. Yeah, uh, but we actually publish all transactions live on our website on uh, arnhembitcoinstop.nl. Okay. Um, currently, there's like say about one to two hundred transactions each month yeah. uh, with an average volume of about three thousand euros. Great. Yeah. So I guess that's complete insignificant peanuts compared to the regular fiat uh, 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 economy. Yeah. But still, you know, you got to start somewhere. And, yeah. uh, right now we've got over a hundred merchants already accepting Bitcoin. Yeah. And even though it's still very small, um, you can see people notice it. They start asking questions and that was that's exactly what we want to yeah. accomplish. And, and what's the expected forecast of merges that you want to achieve for this year? Uh, don't have any specific forecasts. Uh, it would be nice if we are at 150 by the end of the year. Um, but right now, I would say the main challenge is not to get more merchants, but to get more users into Bitcoin and actually spending them. Yeah. Because in the beginning, that's also why we started this. There was hardly any place where you can actually spend your Bitcoins. Yeah. Uh, but now there is, and there's still hardly anyone actually using it. Yeah. So we hope to create more awareness also amongst the common audience, um, to make them a little bit aware of what Bitcoin is, why we think it's important, and you should give it a try. And that's also why we started uh, using typical venues like uh, bars and restaurants. You know, no fancy online investment uh, schemes, whatever. Just go to the, uh, the bar and pay your beer with Bitcoin. Yeah. And that's a use case anyone, anyone can relate to. Yeah, exactly. And are there plans also for, uh, for let's say, expanding to other cities? Um, well, we've been approached by people from several other cities who were very interested and said, well, you got to create something like this in our place as well. And we said, well, you know, we're from Arnhem, so it makes sense for us to do it here. Uh, but the tool we created to make this happen, uh, Bitcasa, the payment processor, that works in any, uh, in the entire Eurozone. So, it's free to use, so anyone who wants to set up a similar Bitcoin city in their own place, they can use Bitcoin if they want. Uh, 
uh, and actually a few people have done this. Uh, for example, uh, Gent in Belgium is a famous Bitcoin place. Uh, uh, Ipar in Belgium is also uh, coming up. Uh, there's a few places in Barcelona. Um, it's been set up by a guy who also uses Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, as far as I know, none of them is as big as Arnhem yet, but I hope to get more. Um, well, it's not really competition, yeah. but uh, colleagues in the field. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, and um, do you see any issues with the scaling issues at the moment? At the moment, there are 200,000 transactions in the backlog. I personally experienced some issues when bu uh, buying a, a Trezor online. So uh, yeah. it took me like two days before uh, everything was fully confirmed. Yeah. Is that a way with Bitcoin or something that, the, that you have with some kind of escrow or something like that, that it's being safe or held up? Well, uh, yeah, we definitely have an issue with the scaling. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, blocks are full. Um, there's a lot of ongoing debate on this. Yeah. Uh, for small transactions, like paying your beer or your bread at the bakery, uh, we accept it with zero confirmation. Okay. Uh, that's yeah. a risk we are taking. Yeah, um, yeah there is a, currently there, there is a real risk in there, because if a transaction never confirms in the end, we lose the money, because we, conf we uh, always guarantee the merchant to be paid out. Yeah. Uh, we also service uh, web shops, uh, and before accepting an online payment, we do await one confirmation. Okay. So we don't run any risk there. Yeah. That's typical. Typically, for larger amounts, we always say use uh, use the web shop uh, method because uh, that's more safe, and that's also the way we can guarantee to pay out larger amounts. Okay. But we do get some issues there from people paying online and not being aware of this whole scaling. Yeah. and paying with really low fees yeah. and it just never confirms and yeah. people say well I paid three days ago uh, where's my order and we have to explain them you know the whole uh, the scaling issue so uh, yeah we it, it, it's a big problem yeah yeah okay and um, I know we are not uh, let's say fortune tellers but where do you see Bitcoin uh, adoption in the Netherlands going from now and five years um, one thing I know 100% sure is this stuff is going to go sky high. The whole concept of cryptocurrency, uh, you know, a new global payment system that no longer involves banks or other central parties. I always say this genie is out of the bottle and will never go back. This is going to go go huge. Whether Bitcoin will remain the number one or uh, there will be a combination of different currencies or maybe another one will take over the current dominant position of Bitcoin, I don't know. I still think Bitcoin has got by far the best uh, opportunities because it's, 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 it has the most acceptance and knowledge of being known. And, uh, but yeah, like the scaling issues you mentioned, if enough marketing is being put into another, uh, an alter one of the alternatives, um, I don't know if Bitcoin will remain the largest. I think so. I've got my own. Um, um, I own several cryptocurrencies, and the, but the huge, uh, most of it is still on Bitcoin. I own some other altcoins, uh, and it reflects my belief in the opportunity, for the, the potential of Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, so, to sum up the answer, it's going to be uh, cryptocurrency is going to be huge. For sure, and I think also Bitcoin will be much bigger than it is right now. But I don't know if it will keep its markets, yeah. it, it, its, uh, its market share. Okay, yeah. good, Rogier. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And we will go to some merchants later today to see this in practice. So stay tuned. So here we have a practical use case where you can pay off with bitcoins. So let's see how that works, guys. So can you give a brief description now what's going to happen, Rogier? Um, I'm going to pay 153 euros yeah. uh, and he's going to enter the amount in euros on his phone uh -huh. and then he's going to get a QR code and I'm going to scan it with my wallet so I click the camera, I scan his QR code and I click on send and I enter my pin code and now it's being sent. The payment is on its way and there it is. Great. So that's it. Great, thanks. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm.